Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you, as is usual. Um, now for this one we're actually going to go to France, and I think this might well be the first French beer review that I'm actually posting for you. So um, for this one you might actually remember I said in some of my German beer reviews that I'd gone to Paris on a trip and managed to bring back some little French craft beers. So we're going to review the first one of these now. I brought them back uh, on the plane with me to Scotland. So the first one of these breweries that we're going to visit is La Blasserie du Mont Salève, and and this is the Tour B beer, which apparently is a smoked beer. And on this video, I also want to give a shout out to the guys at La Cave, La Cave à Boulet in Paris, which is a really, really beautiful little craft beer shop. You can go in there and have little tasting sessions and things like that. But it's really dedicated to French beer, but they do have one shelf of sort of international things. And they're perfectly happy if you go in and say to them, look, I want some really nice French beer. And they'll go and pick out a selection for you and then bring it back to you and talk you through what they've picked out for you. A really really awesome little craft beer place so if you're in Paris in France go and check them out and the guys speak very very good English as well and obviously it's a bit of a novelty because in the English speaking world if you like we don't get so much in the way of French craft beer so definitely worth the visit if you do happen to be in the Paris part of France and I've put their, the, the website link in the video description there along with their Facebook page as well so give them a like and all of this and definitely check them out like I say but as is usual with my beer reviews I'll take you through a brief history of the brewery very very short for this one I'll point out but as always if you are simply just interested in the tasting of this beer feel free to go on towards the second part of the video where you will catch that and as always the brewery website is in the video description as well so just to take you through the history of this brewery here, very very short like I say, the brewery was founded by Mikhail Novo in the summer of 2010 at the foot of the Salève mountain in the Haute Savoy region of the, in the Geneva countryside and apparently this brewery actually overlooks Lake Geneva and the nearest village is called Nidons and it's actually, if you look at where it is on the map, it's actually very very close to the city of Geneva itself and it's sort of kind of northeastish of Lyon, just roughly so you're getting an idea, right on the, the French Switzerland border actually. But the brewery apparently has an annual capacity of 30,000 litres of beer, so very, very small, and it's grown quite significantly and developed a very good reputation through French craft beer circles, if you like, and they're easily recognisable by this kind of label here, the sort of classic French-Belgian sort of advertising portrait style. I think it's very, very cool, in fact, that they've chosen that. But Mikhail says that he likes experimenting more with the hop part of his brewing and tends to use a simpler malt base in his beers. So if you're into hop forward beers, I guess this is a kind of brewery that you would perhaps like to try out. But apparently the beer in the early days effectively spread through word of mouth and it became very popular in the sort of local restaurants around Nédons uh, and it spread further afield to Nantes and Paris as well in France. But apparently Mikhail refused to actually export his beer over to the USA. He was given an offer to do this but he turned it down due to concerns about his brewing volume and things like that. But hopefully in the future he'll, uh, he'll, he'll look at that decision again and hopefully we might get some of these over in Scotland and indeed the wider English speaking world as well. And apparently every summer they actually brew a new experimental beer and they also attend several beer festivals as well. So if you're in pa if you're in France, Belgium or Netherlands, look out for these for the La Blasserie du Mont Salève at some of the beer festivals there. Apparently they do quite a lot of these. But just to list the different beers you can get from this brewery here, I've I've typed these out for you. There are other beers include the Blonde, the Special Bitter, the Blonde Weizen, the India Pale uh, Mademoiselle, which apparently is an uh, Aramis P uh, IPA. They have the Amiro Blenson, which is a Nelson Sauvin uh, IPA. They have the Sorachi Ace Bitter, the Barley Wine, the Mosaic Black Bitter, a Stout and Imperial Stout, and they also have this guy, the Tour B, which is a smoked beer. And the guy recommended this one to me because uh, I said that I like Schlenkerla in Germany. <coughs> Pardon me. And of course that's a very very famous smoked beer so um, this was one that they recommended to me for that which was very very good so I'm looking forward to trying this one for you here and we'll get on with the tasting now I'll bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the, the classic sort of label art on this one this guy is a 5.5% smoked beer and I'll just bring the camera up just now so you can see as I mentioned it's sort of presented in this kind of a uh, sort of chic kind of classic French advertising style. You can see the woman there, I don't know if she's putting on her makeup or exactly what she's doing, but you can see the sort of ski resort thing in the background must be a reference to their kind of closeness to the Alps and stuff like that down in, uh, in Nedons as well. So without further ado, let's get this guy open and get on with the tasting here. The bottle cap on this one of course is plain, I'll just point that out to you there. But let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting. Like I mentioned, it's a 5.5% 
smoked beer. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. As you can see, a nice little smoky opening and my first French craft beer review for you. So let's get this guy out and see how we get on here. Very, very dark colour actually. Sugar up the last little bit in case there's any sediment there. So yeah, that's everything out as far as I can see. So I'll just set this back down for you. You can see, I can see just how dark this was, looking at how much light is coming through the glass there. Looks very, very nice. You can see there's a nice sort of just thin foamy layer. It's a kind of tan colour of foamy layer there. Didn't get much of a head on it, but not the most important thing, of course. It smells, you can get that typical sort of porter smell from this guy. It's meant to be a smoked beer rather than a porter, but um, it smells really, really nice, actually. I'll just sugar it up for you and just see you can smell it's got quite a it's definitely got a very kind of roasted and sweet smell to it actually it's quite peaty actually it reminds me a lot it reminds me a lot of some whiskies that you smell but obviously it's not quite got the sort of alcohol burn on the, the aroma if you like but yeah it's a very it's a very interesting aroma here hugely hugely peaty there's a little bit of a meaty character to it as well and if you breathe it in, if you sort of sniff it in quite deeply, you're getting a little bit of caramel just underlying there. But the big, big com uh, component of this aroma really is that peaty smoke. It's really overpowering anything else that's in there. Although there is, as I say, just a little hint of that um, of that nice caramel aroma. I actually forgot to just talk about, you can't really see much carbonation in this one. Just tiny little bits going up towards this sort of foamy layer on the head there. So really really nice looking beer actually and it smells it smells really nice I've never smelled a beer that smells quite like this so take a little bit of time if you do happen to try this guy and just uh, see what you think of it obviously so let's give it a taste and see how we get on it's, yeah very very peaty again not quite as a uh, meaty a smoky character if you like as the Schlenker is but very very interesting in fact more of definitely more of a kind of roasted and peaty one than the, the Schlenker line. not as I say not so meaty but yeah very very smoky very kind of peaty taste to it like I'm saying you've got just a little hint of caramel sweetness there it comes in very quickly but it disappears and it really is just that smoky character that is kind of lingering on the tongue there. Very very nice actually. It has just a sort of little bit of woody character to it as well which is quite interesting. It's almost as if it's, it does taste a little bit if it has been aged slightly but it's not really a kind of vanilla flavour that you get from the ageing, it is more of a kind of woody taste. It's very, very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. It's a, it's quite, in this case of this beer, it's not a very complex flavour, but it does it very, very well. It tastes really good and that's the main thing. There's not too many components contributing to this one, but it's very, very well done. They've got what they were going for very, very good in my opinion. Yeah, it opens up the sort of smoky character, if you like, is sticking to the middle of the tongue and you're getting on the edges as you go on the edges of your tongue as you're going through this beer I'd say that's where you're getting a little bit of the caramel sweetness and the woody character is mixing quite well on the middle of the tongue with this nice kind of peaty and smoky flavour it blends these three components blend very very well together but it's not such a complex flavour but at the same time really really nice I would say if you like Schlenkerla and want a very a little kind of different take on it this is a guy to go for actually very very nice beer So in terms of the body with this one, I would say it's quite light bodied actually, it's a lot lighter than the Schlenker Lab beer. It's, um, it's got the normal amount of carbonation, it's got just a tiny little prickle there but otherwise the mouthfeel is very very smooth 
slightly oily I would say, it's got quite a wet mouth feel. It perhaps could do with being just a little bit thicker but I think it does it very well and it wouldn't, you know, to make the beer a little bit thicker might have a detrimental effect on the fa the flavour and that's the most important thing obviously. They've got the flavour right um, and I would say there's maybe just a, even a little hint of a creamy texture to this one but they've got everything right with this beer in my opinion. It's very very nice I would say. Yeah, definitely a light bodied beer which obviously is quite unusual for the style if you like but at the same time it does make it very easily drinkable so it's quite an easy drinking smoked beer if you like so if you want something like, like that definitely give this guy a check out but overall I would say this is a pretty awesome beer and you can see why the brewery is very popular if they're producing things like this and I do have to admit it's quite cool to get a beer that has that nice kind of peaty smoky flavour that's almost reminiscent of whiskey. It's quite nice that they've managed to put that flavour so well into a beer that is actually very very light bodied. Normally you would only get that from something that is really quite heavy and sort of less drinkable if you like so they did de they deserve a lot of credit for that in my opinion and you know if they, if the, if one of their beers is like this I, you can probably guarantee that they'll have taken the same approach to their other beers. There's not a lot of bitter character to this one either which I should really say but um, if you like smoked beers, definitely give the Tour B from La Brasserie du, La Bla, La, La Brasserie du Mont Salève. Give that, give it a check out and see what you think of. I really would recommend this beer to people, and I can see why the guys at La Cava Boulet were so kind of. Uh, so determined that I take this beer so a thank you to those guys for uh, pointing this beer out to me check it out if you do get the chance check out the brewery website and La Cava Boulet in Paris if you get the chance as I say very very nice beer some really nice smoky flavours in here blended with some, just a little hint of caramel and some nice sort of woody character in there too it blends very well it's very easy drinking so if you like that sort of thing check this guy out but anyway I hope you found my beer review informative go and check out all the things I'm saying there in the video description below and if you've enjoyed this beer review, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. There will be more French beer reviews for you to come in the next little while. But I hope you've enjoyed this one and I will catch you soon with another one. Cheers.